All right, let's talk about this guitar. A friend of mine, Jerry, got this a while ago, and he brought it over to show me a long time ago, well, a year or so. And uh, I thought it was pretty nice, and then uh, I saw him recently and asked him if we could uh, do it on our live stream, a little analysis of it. I didn't uh, buy this guitar, so it's not for sale, but there certainly are many of them on the internet. Now, this is made in Korea. Uh, you've got two P90s. You got a little switch here to go back and forth, and you got volume knobs, you got the old style looking things. And it's got a pretty nice sound. guitar I I probably ought to try to raise these pickups because I feel like the top is being smothered and this is a solid top guitar so just like their x150s that we've demonstrated with the floating pickup this one is a solid top guitar uh, mm -hmm. laminate sides and back and uh, it's got the poly finish on it it's got some nice Inla uh, inlays, rosewood fretboard. I mean, it looks like the old Guild, right? Look at the, the tuners. It's got the exposed gear tuners. Um, this particular one is in very nice shape. It's got a three-piece neck. Um, it's 16-inch, 24 and three-quarter inch scale length. It has the guild frets, and on these frets, it's kind of funny. Um, when you put your hand down these like that, it's not like they're sharp. But the fret, you know, most frets, they really taper at the end, you know. But this, they kind of come to us, they're more like this, you know, at the end, instead of like this. So it's, it's like there is a hump there. You can feel each fret. But they're not sharp. It's not like sharp fret ends. So, kind of funny fret dressing. I mean, it's got a pretty nice sound. What do you think, Wes? Uh, yeah, it sounds all right. So yeah, what, what what's it what's the deal with the art shop? You like it? You good? It's what? It's like a thousand bucks. What do you think of it? I think it's Let's worth the it. money. It's got a nice neck profile. It's not too fat. It's the thin neck profile. The sound doesn't knock me out. It doesn't have that high end shimmer. But uh, I think if you if we raise the pickups off the top, it might achieve that with these pickups I'm, I'm not sure I don't know how you do it though because if you put a washer under here it's going to rock back and forth it's not it's not like a humbucker where you've got four things on it so I I don't know about it um, but I think the guitar number one it's 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 cool looking it feels kind of vintagey which I like. It's uh, single ply binding on the neck, um, one and 11 16 so it's got everything going for it. And it does have a distinct sound. Uh, acoustically, it sounds like this. It puts out quite a bit acoustically. Okay, we had a request for a wave. Let's play wave with on this and then let's see what it's like. Get ready, Wes, you might have to mix this.
so there it is. Uh, that is the Guild X175. To reiterate, Rosewood Bridge, Rosewood Fingerboard plays. I got this thing playing great. Um, solid top P90s. Old vintage feel. I think it's pretty nice guitar. It's a little easier to play than the Samic. The Samic, a little fatter. You can't get it as close. Uh, the Samic is 25 and, and a half inch. This is 24 and three quarter inch. Uh, a thinner neck. So uh, I think it's a nice little thing. Hey, Wes, can you go to Reverb and check out how much some of these are? Uh, yeah, so I got this 849, 1100 for this blue one, but that one has a Bigsby thing on it. Yeah, that's a kind of a turnoff for jazz guys. Yeah, uh, 1000, 1000. How much does a new one, does it say? Well, I don't think they, they don't make them anymore. Uh, hmm. 849. Um, yeah, they, they, they don't, they don't make them. No. Yeah. Um, if you go here, big, uh, discontinued thing right here. Oh yeah. That's too bad. So yeah, I have no idea when they stop making them. It is made in Korea though. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know. It looks like 800 to... You know, these ones are 1500 right here, 900 I think 1100 probably the average. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's... I think it's 19, undervalued. This one's a 1972 oh, for yeah. 1900 Wow. Well, that's a good deal. Yeah. That's what I had to get. I think it's a nice alternative, which <clears throat> is another thing I wanted to... Uh, alternative to a expensive guitar, you know. But eventually, you're going to want the guitar you've been jonesing for for a long, long time. So you might as well buy once, cry once, and get it. They're not going, they're not, guitars are not getting any cheaper. I just saw an L4, like the one I got. They want $9,000 for that thing. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Where do they get these numbers? But... Buying and selling are two different things. Uh, you want to play a fingerstyle song on that thing real quick? Or just a little piece of something real quick? So is that is it me or is this thing is it's since it's got P90s in it it's noisier than the other ones because I feel like I can hear this like noise yeah oh is that true would that P90s be P90s are single pole pickups so yes they are yeah I just feel like there's this I mean I, I doubt you guys could hear it out there but I can hear it in my headphones of like hmm. this little buzz thing yeah. I suppose you could get replacement pickups for this. I don't know what which ones you would get. Some of those Lindy Freeland ones or something. Um, yeah, so I think it's a nice choice. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, 
hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.